Ricky Su from Xilinx Technical Marketing. I'd like to give you an introduction of how to use Vitis Projectless Debugging Mode. Sometimes we will use command line to build Vitis acceleration applications. For example, the Vitis Excel examples are provided with make files. You can use make to build the applications quite easily. You can run emulations or run hardware with build-generated applications. When you need to debug this application, most people will use the IDE mode to debug it. Previously, we will need to import the source code into the Vitis IDE and build it again, and it, takes, it will take some time. Actually, from 2020.1, we introduced this projectless debugging mode, and you can use it to debug command line generated applications without rebuilding it. Here is the demonstration. Let me introduce this build directory. I have built it with make all, with target equals hardware emulation, and device equals some U250 platforms. We can see the application is uh, generated here, and the xclbin file is generated in this build dir. Here is the xclbin file, and uh, I can run this test um, command to make it run through the emulation in full speed. And actually, it's the make run. Make run runs from here. This is the make file. It will run through the uh, emulation with setting environment variable equals xci emulation mode equals your um, target. So let's run it first to test it. The application, host application, will run on the platform and since we have set it as the hardware emulation mode, it will call the emulation driver to uh, emulate the device. And now you can see uh, it reports test parse. And if we'd like to use the Vitis IDE to debug this application, we can use the Vitis-debug mode. Here is the example of the documentation. On the Vitis 2020.2 example, you will have this Vitis IDE debug flow page, and it has using standalone debugging flow for uh, Vitis IDE. The standalone debugging is what I mean for projectless debugging. Here it supports embedded platforms and the data center platforms. Let's take a look at the data center platform command line. Vitis-debug-flow choose data center and dash target choose uh, we will choose hardware emulation here, but you can also use software emulation or hardware. Dash exe for host application and dash kernel for your kernel. You can also specify dash work dir to indicate a different working directory from for default. It will probably be needed for xclbin file is built in a different directory. We can look, read some more details about the command line options. For example, why we need this um, work dir? That's because the application is launched. Uh, this is the directory where the specified exe will be launched. And our host application usually finds the xclbin file from its launch directory. So we will need to set this work dir as that um, build, build directory. And another option we will check is dash program args. It can be used to specify the arguments for the original host application. And it's uh, for the acceleration applications, we will usually pass the xclbin file name as its argument. So we will use this program args to pass in the XLB file name. OK, so uh, let's um, 
Let's just type in this Vitis debug command line with flow data center dash target hardware emulation dash exe and slab bridge dot exe dash kernel kernel vid dash work dir for this build directory and dash program args for the kernel vid dot xlb. Let's run it. And you can see the Vatis IDE launches. It will launch in debug mode by default and stop at main. Then you can use any debugging features from the Vatis IDE, for example, stepping over or making breaking points. Let's try to step over sometime. You can see the variables has changed. And we can uh, check. I have set some breakpoints here, breakpoints here. Here is where uh, you program the device. And here is you set some initialization um, variables. Let's run in full speed. And it should uh, hit at this, um, at this breakpoint. Once the hard, the XCLB file is downloaded in hardware emulation mode, it will take several seconds. Okay, now the program is successful. We can continue run the application and check how the variable is uh, changed in this mode, and uh, when it needs to do some uh, for loop. For initialization, we can set another breakpoint. Um, breakpoint can be set with double click and uh, run it again. Set arcs and enqueue the task and wait it for finish. And we can compare the results. And let me just uh, resume it. And we can see it passed as as. The same as we write on the command line, but we can see more details of how this application is run. Here is the demonstration for Vitis Projectless debugging mode. Hope this helps, and see you next time.